WFTV tonight. And some major cuts for the Walt Disney Company are in the works. Good evening, I'm Greg Warmoth. And I'm Martha Sigalski. The company plans on cutting about 3% of its workforce. In total, that will add up to about 7,000 jobs. The job reductions are part of a $5.5 billion cost savings measure. Disney CEO Bob Iger is calling it a significant transformation. This will also delay projects at Disney theme parks. No word on if any Disney World cast members will be affected by these cuts, Greg. And Martha, the news about Disney came out as a state house committee passed changes to Disney's Reedy Creek Improvement District. A bill passed today by a house committee gives Governor Ron DeSantis authority to appoint a five member board of supervisors that would then direct the district. Ashley Edlin live outside of Disney tonight. Ashley, this bill is now headed to the House floor, but it didn't get there without a little bit of debate today. Greg, it was met with a lot of questions today about what exactly is going to change here and who ultimately is going to be in charge. It took Osceola County State Representative Fred Hawkins mere minutes to present the bill to dissolve Reedy Creek Special District. This bill changes the name of the district to the Central Florida Tourism Oversight District. That bill also gives Governor DeSantis authority to appoint a five-member board of supervisors that would direct the district. Questions about the changes, though, took much longer than Hawkins' presentation. Many came directly from State Representative Ana Escamani. Can you name a single power that you're taking away from Reedy Creek? Uh, what else would you say specifically changes? Escamani most concerned control would be transferred to the governor. Democrats tried to amend the bill over and over again, trying to add guarantees that the governor wouldn't just appoint his friends and that the board represented the community. Why do we choose to continue to have an appointed board and not actually go with a board that would reflect the community that is being served? We talked to Hawkins after. This is not the first board the governor's ever appointed. This is the only one that has Senate confirmation involved in it. The bill, a long time coming for Reedy Creek firefighters who have battled for years with the administration of the Reedy Creek Improvement District over pay raises and staffing. Hawkins says their name will most likely change, but as far as what that name might be... That is still very much up for debate. Now, Hawkins telling us tonight they will still have collective bargaining. Meanwhile, this bill could be on the governor's desk by next week. Live in Orange County, I'm Ashley Edmund for WTV Tonight.